Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about some news that I sort of randomly stumbled upon the other day and it's um, quite concerning and I don't think a lot of people really know about it. I haven't really seen anybody cover this yet so um, we'll get into that in a second but I just wanted to quickly say I only have, you know, 19 subscribers right now and I just wanted to say thank you to those people that did actually take the time to do it because um, frankly I didn't think anyone was going to watch anything I did so it's pretty cool to see people actually watching and commenting and all that stuff so if you're one of those people that are watching this right now and you haven't subscribed I'd really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to the channel today if you think that I've earned it and remember leaving likes and commenting on videos and things like that really helps content like mine get seen by lots of different people so thanks very much to anyone who does that so right let's get into the actual news according to a report that I read on Tech Radar, which will be linked below by the way if your PlayStation 4's internal clock battery dies and chances are over time it will it could completely brick your ps4 console and it literally will not work it won't even play discs which is kind of alarming when you think about it because i mean myself i have a playstation 5 now and my ps4 pro has been disconnected since the release of the ps5 so chances are mine's on its way to dying right now. So the report that Tech Radar put out was based upon some information that was put out there by a known hacker named Lance McDonald whose YouTube channel I'll link in the description below because he does some really really good work. If you don't remember he was the individual responsible for basically getting a 60 FPS hack working for Bloodborne on the PS4 so he's done some really good work and um, be cool if you went over there and showed him some support. But what I'm going to do here is read you some choice parts of the article and then we'll quickly discuss it afterwards. I'll also throw the text up on the screen so you can read along with me. Tech Radar starts off by saying Quote, your PS4 console could be rendered completely useless in the future if its internal clock battery dies. You won't be able to play any PS4 games on it, regardless of whether they're digital copies or on disc. That's according to trusted hacker Lance McDonald, who shared the extremely worrying news that PS4 consoles will be nothing more than an expensive paperweight should the internal system clock die. They go on to basically explain that the issue could be tied to how the internal clock interacts with PS trophies and how it's set in such a way that prevents users from manipulating the clock in order to get certain trophies. Of course, as I said, the article's linked below, so feel free to go through and read all of the sort of nitty gritty detail if you want to. But they then point to a quote from Lance McDonald himself that states, if your system clock resets to zero, the only official way to correct it is to connect to the PSN network, to which Tech Radar adds, which implies that should Sony ever decide to do away with PSN in the future, the console will be bricked as you wouldn't be able to connect to PSN network to correct the clock. Apparently Lance McDonald's statement was in response to a tweet from Does It Play, which is an account on Twitter dedicated to video game preservation. Does It Play stated that when the PS4 CMOS battery dies, and it will, it renders all PS4 digital files unusable without a server reconnection and in the PS4 it also kills disc playback. Now of course all of this seems you know kind of scary honestly but it's not something that I feel personally is super likely to occur but as stated in this article near the end the fact that it's even a possibility is rather concerning. Now I'm somebody who collects old games, retro games, um, I collect most things and the fact that Sony in the past has been one to say things like why would people bother with old games when there's new games to play just kind of shows how much they're not really bothered by this and I'm not sure if I see them ever fixing this although it has been mentioned that they could fix it in a firmware update but as Lance points out he thinks it's probably never going to happen because they frankly don't want to put the effort into doing it. And again, as I said at the start of the video, this is one of those things that I've not seen many places talk about, especially none of the big YouTubers or really big news outlets. I've not seen any of them mentioning this yet. And of course, it's still a if it happens kind of thing. But it it's a certainty that the battery will die if left unplugged from the mains. Like, the battery will die, right? So I don't know exactly what they're going to do to 
fix this. I don't really know what they can do. As I say, they could potentially send out some sort of firmware update to fix this, but I don't know. To me, it just kind of shows that companies aren't really interested in looking backwards, and a lot of people might agree with that because... You know, the, the newer generation of game players are basically people that want the newest things now. You know, they want new, they want different, they want exciting, they're not bothered about old games. And it is probably what you'd call a niche audience that want to play old games. There's certainly a lot of us out there that love old games, but it is still a, you know, small minority of people, of, of gamers, right? And like so many other things, these large companies cater to masses rather than to the niche, which again makes complete sense for a company i'm not saying it doesn't but it does leave a lot of people even though we are a minority it leaves us sort of out in the cold really because it's going to be really hard for us to play anything old on newer systems and this goes back to the digital versus physical argument again because if this happens in your ps4 console you won't be able to use digital or physical all because of some sort of requirement of reconnecting to their um, network and again old consoles didn't have this problem because you know they weren't online at the time and yes we've moved forward yes we're onto bigger and better things but we're slowly in my opinion moving towards what is almost like a scam era and what i mean by a scam era is a time in which we won't own any anything we, we literally won't own anything music video games we won't own it it'll all just be streamed to us we won't even have a box probably it'll just be streamed to future smart televisions you know and um sounds kind of doom and gloom but it's probably inevitably where we're heading which i for one think is a bit of a shame i've always enjoyed owning consoles i've always enjoyed owning physical media and uh yeah i guess it's just kind of a sad time that we're heading towards an era where we simply won't own it we'll just be paying for the right to access it but you know that's just my opinion so i would really like to hear what your opinion on this and if you've heard anyone talking about this please do let me know in the comments if you want to help me grow this channel the easiest stuff you can do is just leave likes on the video and if by this point in the video you think i've deserved it please consider subscribing to the channel check out the video description for all the links mentioned earlier and as always thanks very much for watching thanks for all the support and i'll see you next time